Hi guys! I'm Rabia if you're new. Um, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, today I'm really excited because I'm doing a thrift haul and honestly this is probably my first time actually thrifting. Um, growing up my mom did not want me to thrift at all and if she sees this video I'm probably gonna be in trouble so oops. Um, but yeah, growing up, I actually never even really had many thrift stores where I lived. Um, it wasn't, um, I didn't grow up in America, I grew up in Singapore, and I just feel like it wasn't very common to have like thrift stores everywhere. And then after coming to New York, um, thrift stores in the city are not that great, especially Manhattan. Um, places like the Goodwill and stuff, they are really expensive and they don't really have many cute, trendy things. Um, and yeah, everything is like $30, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I had watched some thrifting videos on YouTube recently of people thrifting in New York. And they went thrifting in Brooklyn and I saw some really nice thrift stores. So I want to go check them out. And this video is going to be kind of a mix of New York thrift stores. Um, I shopped on ThreadUp for the first time, so I got some stuff online. And then also I have some kind of miscellaneous pieces that I got from random stores. Um, these are kind of older purchases, but I thought I'd show them to you anyways. Um, the first thing is this t-shirt. I got this quite a while now, but um, I got it from a store that's kind of near us called, um, I think it's called The Country Of, um, and they just had really cute, it wasn't very big, it's in the Lower East Side. Um, they just had t-shirts and stuff. It wasn't super cheap. This t-shirt, I think, was... I want to say, like, maybe $18? Um, but I just really liked how it was oversized. I like the red, white, and blue. I love red, white, and blue. That's probably one of my favorite color combinations for clothes. Even though I feel like I don't wear red that often anymore. I barely have any red things. Um, I just liked it. I thought it was cool. Um, so I bought it. Yeah, it's a t-shirt. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> um, then we went to Hester Street Fair, which is um, like a small fair that happens in the Lower East Side as well on the weekends and they always have cool uh, vintage sellers and thrift sellers um, and I can't remember, I think the seller that this was from was called Porch Find, um, but I'll double check and I'll link their Instagram or their website below. But I got this um, blazer from them. Um, it's Mary Ann Restivo. I don't know the brand, but it's 100% wool, um, which I really like. And it was only, I think it was only $20, which for a blazer is pretty nice. Um, it does have shoulder pads in it, which I'm trying to contemplate whether or not I want to take out. Um, I'm j I just don't, I want it to have structure, I don't want it to become all droopy, but I loved the um, green and yellow plaid print, um, and I like that it was oversized because um, I feel like that's more in nowadays anyways. Um, so yeah, I really liked that. The next thing that I got was from when we went to Philly. Uh, we stopped by in, I think it's called Philly AIDS Thrift maybe? Um, it's a huge thrift store. Um, I think it's a really popular one. Miley Cyrus talked about it, something like that. I was reading about it on Google. But anyways, I stopped there. I didn't find a ton of things there. They did have a lot of like furniture and cool um, like memorabilia pieces and records and stuff like that. So it's definitely a cool place to check out. Um, I didn't find a lot in terms of clothes. I did find, this was actually part of a set. It came with pants. The pants are just really big on me. Um, so I need to figure out what to do with them, but I just love this shirt. The whole set was, I think, $10, um, and it's a vintage Victoria's Secret sleeping set. Um, it's not silk, which I wish it was, but it feels really nice. It's really soft and stuff, um, and I just thought it would look really cute. I've worn this once already, tucked in to some white pants, and it looked really cute. Um, so yeah, I, I just thought it was a cute, big shirt, and I just thought that it was a vintage Victoria's Secret. It was kind of cool. Um, so those are all the miscellaneous pieces that I bought. Next, I guess I'll show you what I got from my thread up. Um, some of these you would have seen if you watched the me dressing up as Harry Styles video. Um, 
because that's where I got the clothes for it from. Um, so you would, might have seen this sweater vest. Uh, I love this. I wore this um, not just in that video. I wore it out last weekend with um, a shirt underneath and a tennis skirt with it. And I thought it looked so cute. It was really fun outfit. Um, I want to buy some more sweater vests. I want them in like cool, funky prints and colors to layer over my shirts because um, I really like that trend right now. Um, but yeah, it's just a cute sweater vest. And then, oh, the brand is Scott Taylor, if you were wondering, by the way. Um, and then I also got this red shirt, which you would have also seen in the video if you watched it. Um, this is a silk shirt, which I really like. It was, oh, the prices. Um, I want to say the sweater vest was... I also got this sale that you get, if you shop there for the first time, you get a certain amount off, I think it's maybe like 40% or 30% off everything. Um, so I got everything a bit cheaper, I want to say the sweater was about maybe $12, and this was also around like $10 or $11, um, but it's just a silk shirt. Um, again, I don't wear a lot of red, but kind of want to start wearing red. Um, I just feel like I dress very seasonally based on colors, and red is one of those colors where it's like, what season is it? I mean, it's kind of bright for winter, but it's definitely not a spring or summer color, I feel, so... I don't know. I guess winter works, right? Christmas, red, I don't know. Um, so I'll figure out how to wear that. But then I also got this cardigan. I really like this cardigan. I've worn it a bunch of times already. I love the argyle print. Um, I also want to get more argyle print things because I think that's a cute trend that's happening right now. I also love the color. It was like a bright, almost neon, yellowy highlighter green. Um, the tag of this came off, but I'm pretty sure this was J. Crew, And I want to say this was also maybe $15. Um, thread up prices aren't super, super cheap, but you can definitely find super cheap things on there. Um, I feel like the cute things are probably like mid-range, around like the $10, $15 range. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cute. Um, I also bought two pairs of pants from Thread Up. So the first pair is these beige ones. Um, they're just basic trousers. Um, these are from Brooks Brothers. Both the pants that I got were 100% wool, really nice quality. They were originally like 100 something dollars and they're in great condition. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. They're, I do wish these ones are were a little bit more high-waisted. Um, I want to get the beige pants that go really high up. Um, just because I think they would look cute to tuck things into. Um, but I like these. I do think I might have to take in the waist a little bit because it's a bit loose. But otherwise, I think they're really cute. And then I also got these pair of striped grey trousers. Um, these are from Escada, which if you don't know is a pretty nice brand. Um, these are also 100% wool. Um, these actually, I think these have already been taken in at the trousers, which I'm not complaining about because now they fit me really well. Um, but yeah, I like these too. They're pretty thin, so if I wore them in the winter, I might have to put something on under them. But I like them. I think they're just a cute pair of trousers uh, to tuck things into. You can never have enough trousers in my opinion. Um, so that's everything that I got from Thread Up. Um, next is all the stuff that I got in Brooklyn. So I went uh, thrift shopping in Brooklyn a couple of days ago and we went um, in the Bushwick area where Urban Jungle is. Um, and then we also went to La Pointe. Uh, at Urban Jungle, I only got two things. It was really overwhelming. That place is huge. Um, but I will say there's not like super exciting things there I feel like. It's really good for basics. They have like a lot of hoodies and sweatshirts and jeans. Um, but there wasn't like super cool unique client except there was one thing that I found that I'll show you. Um, let me show you the other thing first. I was looking for um, a cool black graphic kind of grungy tee. So I got this one um, from Ed Hardy. Uh, it just has a skull on it. My mom's gonna hate this too. Um, it just has a skull on it and it says Ed Hardy and then the back has gone Ed Hardy too. It's just oversized, it's extra extra large, but I like that. I wanted to layer it over um, like a white long sleeve tur turtleneck. Um, I just thought that would look cute. It's actually not usually my style, like the very grungy 
off not goth but the grungy look but I don't know I thought I do like the look of it with the t-shirts over the long sleeves I think that looks cool um, so I thought why not try it and I think this was I want to say eight dollars I think um, and then the next thing that I got is kind of exciting I I was very conflicted about this I didn't know if I should get it or not I looked at it and then I put it away and I looked at it again and then I showed it to all my friends and then I was like no never mind I don't need it it's I don't know where I'm gonna wear it and then I was in line about to pay and I told my friend about it and she said just get it so I got it um it's this cardigan it's super heavy and it's this cream color it has like blue uh, piping details it has really cute gold buttons I love the buttons and then it has all these like nautical red and blue um, embroidery on it I just thought it was so cute. I don't know. I thought with jeans um, and a tank top underneath it, I just thought it would look really cool. Um, and I couldn't pass it up. I thought of it. And it's 100% wool too, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I just I just thought it was so cute. And it's one of those things that you're just not going to see anyone else wearing. And it's super unique. Um, so I really like that. And I think it's probably vintage. It's made in Taiwan. So I feel like, yeah, probably like not very recent and then that's all i got from urban jungle and then we went to la point um, or la point value that was right next to urban jungle and that was also super overwhelming they that it wasn't as organized as urban jungle was urban jungle is super um organized so you know exactly what to look for in which section this was kind of um more you have to look through everything in the rack type of thing but that was also kind of fun because you didn't know what you're gonna find and also La Point Value had a lot of things that had the original tags on them which was really cool and it was a bit cheaper than Urban Jungle I think. The first thing that I found um, is this sweater which had the original tags on it and I think it was like originally $40 but um, I think I got it for $10 and it's just this oversized white sweater it's ribbed um, it has a little tag that says Nautica Jeans Co. on the sleeve, which I really liked. Um, and I also really liked how all of the seams, I don't know if you can tell, but all of the seams are kind of like um, scuffed and a little bit frayed. I really like that. Um, I think it just adds to the look of it. And I feel like just this with um, a pair of trousers would look really cool. I feel like the whole baggy on baggy trend is very happening nowadays um, and plus I could wear this like over skirts or dresses um, I just think it's like a super versatile piece that you can't really go wrong with um, and then I bought this top which is just kind of basic it's a ribbed v-neck um, with the black and gray ribbing I just thought this would look cute over um, white shirts um, or yeah, mostly that. I just wanted to wear it over a white shirt. I just thought that would be a cute outfit, or even on its own, I guess. Um, it does say large, but it's pretty um, fitted. I think it's just very stretchy, so it should be fine. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was kind of a simple, classic, basic. And that was $5, I think. And then the next thing that I got was this polo neck long sleeve this was actually in the kids section um it's a school uniform but i just thought this would look cute uh, tucked into some trousers or with jeans um i feel like the polo neck has definitely been trending recently um and i really like the color um i like wearing color during winter i am not much of a black wearing person i don't actually have that many black things i've been wanting to get more black things just because I feel like I sometimes need them in my wardrobe and I just don't have anything that's black um, but I still do like wearing color too so I really liked the kind of crimsicle yellow and yeah I just think it's gonna look cute tucked into things and then the last thing that I bought was this sweater speaking of buying more black it's just this speckled um, sweater I think this is from oh this is where, it's a place called International Concepts, I don't know it, but it did have the tag attached to it, so it was new. Um, oh, the, the yellow top was, I got for $3, which is crazy, and then this was $8, I think. 
Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I liked that it was all cable knit um, and it had the high neck and then I also really liked the white speckles on it. Um, so yeah, that's actually everything that I bought. Um, I am definitely going to be thrifting more. I've kind of decided for myself that I'm going to try my best not to shop from fast fashion anymore just because I know that I can. And also, I do want to do like thrift flips and stuff. I don't know if I'm adventurous enough to do that yet. Um, I really have to plan it out and I probably need to get a sewing machine for that. I don't know if I can hand sew thrift flips. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you maybe got some inspiration from it. Um, let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!